Oh, it's definitely the hardest season I've played uh, emotionally and mentally this year with all the ups and downs and go expectations going into the season. Um, hopes, expectations were really high going in, and it was just we never met the expectations, and it was, yeah, uh, being uh, with Tani, or, you know, co captains to deal with everything and wanted to win and trying to figure out how to do it and everything. It was a very challenging year. Uh, I haven't had that much time, have I? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I heard Colsey say our start wasn't the best. Um, no, I was not. I'm not a big fan of starting with 10 or 11 or whatever we had at home of the year. Um, I like to go on the road early, get the group together. Um, no excuse, but um, last year, in comparison, we had two trips right off the hop, and they were successful. And I think that's you want to get out on the road early on. But um, I think that, and then um, yeah, we just never seem to find uh, ways to win a lot of games in a row. And the seven-game losing streak was a tough stretch that put us in a tough spot. And we we just had to chase all year, and it's it's hard to chase all year. I thought we did a good job. Sticking with it all all year, especially in the end, really pushing for it all the way till second last game of the year, and um, yeah, and then we fell short. Michael, were the expectations out of whack, or did this group fall short of them? I think uh, no, I think yeah, we all. I was excited, uh, but it is a big change with the players leaving, um, leaders, big stars. Um, Ended up being it for a while. Um, it, they left a big hole, and it's, uh, it wasn't easy to replace uh, for anyone. And um, and it's not easy for the new guys to come in either. And uh, there was a lot of expectations. So um, so yeah, um, I think uh, yeah we I think we have a, we had a good team, and I think we're only two points out. And um, I think if we would have got in, we could have made some damage, but. Um, yeah, it was in uh, it was in the year. Both our, our ability to play through injuries and, and pain, Chris, is kind of the stuff of legend at this point. Were you ever at a hundred percent this season? I think if you're playing, you're at a hundred percent. So that's, I mean, everyone's playing with something. Obviously, I would have liked to play 82 games. That's the that's the goal every year, and um, I obviously fell short of that, um, which was was disappointing for me. After I think the last three years, I played every game, and you feel so much better when you're able to get in a rhythm, and and the group's always able to stay together. And I mean, when I, you're in and out all the time, it's it's tough, it's challenging watching hockey. So, um, but as I said, if you're in the lineup, it's I think you're near 100 percent. So I know every season is a grind, but physically and mentally, did this season feel like more of a grind for you and for the guys? Um, I, for me, obviously, it, it sucked not playing the, the games I did uh, didn't play. Sorry, um, but that's happened to me in the, in the past. I mean, I, th I mean, five six years ago, I, I had a tough stretch of of stuff, but I mean, so, and that was a lot harder mentally on it on me than it was now. I mean, now it was obviously just, I think, tough that we were not playing still. That's that's the, the toughest thing for me. I think, like Bax said, we we had a, a good group um, and guys obviously fought hard until the end, but we we just didn't do enough in, in the close games. We, what, 17 overtime losses is obviously not good enough and then we lost a lot of one goal hockey games where if uh if those change then we're obviously still playing um but i think that was the hardest part for me so do you guys think that the core of this team if it was brought back next year could contend could be you know a uh, stanley cup contender yeah i think so uh i think we missed we missed by two points i think uh we know when everyone now and having to play together for a year and um, um, not having that. If let's say the game the groups together, that I means it's not going to mean any big change up this off season, which um, 
yeah, we're all going to know what to expect when we come in here next year uh, of each other. And uh, there's no like uh, uh, unfamiliar uh, faces or for the, like for the guys, new guys this year, everything was unfamiliar for them. So uh, I think, uh, and with the coach too, guys who, the new guys, so us, everyone will just know what to expect. And yeah, we all know we need to be better. You two are both pending. You have big decisions to make in the summer, whether you'll re-sign in Calgary. Are you both interested in remaining Flames beyond uh, next next season? Uh, it's kind of, um, we'll see what happens. Um, um, I, I mean, I've live, I live been here for a long time, and I love Calgary. I love this organization. Um, uh, but um, the way year we had, um, I'm 34 years old. Uh, I want to win the Stanley Cup, and uh, you know, um, I uh, so uh, I don't know this summer um, what's going to happen. Um, if they uh, even if they even if they offer us anything or me, um, uh, you know, I might want to see what this group can do before I make a decision. I, lo I love it here. I mean, I think it's a great city. Um, we. Definitely enjoy living here. I mean, for me, I'm just I'm focused on getting uh, my health where it needs to be, and then getting better this summer. I mean, I'm not really thinking about uh, thinking about that right now. I've played a lot of hockey on one-year deals, and that's not really going to bother me. My biggest thing is to go out and be the best player that I, I can be for the team when I come back in, in September. Question there, Wes. Michael, I just want to follow up on what you just said because you know you're a guy who's played 900 and some games in this organization, and I guess that was fairly non-committal about what the future might look like. Are you frustrated with what's happening in this city, or, or how would you sort of characterize that? Yeah, I mean, I only been in the second round here. I want to go further, and uh, the way the year we had this year is frustrating for sure. Um, it's not the year none of us wanted to have, and. Um, like we talked earlier, we all had high expectations. So, um, um, yeah, I, I, my dreams like anyone else to win the Stanley Cup, and um, um, yeah, but the biggest dream of all would be to win it here in Calgary. So, um, I would love to do it here. I'd love to do it here in Calgary. Um, so, yeah.